Everyone, this is Drita. Welcome, Drita, to the show. Now, Drita was here two years ago because she came to our show because she suspected that her fiancé, James, was cheating on her. Now, Drita... Drita believed that James was using his job as a snowplow driver as an excuse to be plowing something else. So before we find out why Drita's back, take a look at her last appearance. James is a snowplow driver for the city of Buffalo. Usually Buffalo has the worst weather, but not this winter. We hardly had any snow at all. I think he's plowing something and it ain't snow. Did you all uh, meet when he picked you up in the snow? Sure did. I was coming out of the store one night, Murray, and here I go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel like this. Who else is out there? Mm -hmm. I plow the street so that everybody's safe. I hope that when this is over, she realizes that the storm that we've been weathering was all in her head. We're going to see what else we're going to be bumping today. Yeah, okay. Hey. You were asked if you were having sexual intercourse with another woman when you claimed to be plowing snow. Huh? You said no. You're telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if you've had any sexual contact of any kind with any other woman during your relationship mm -hmm. with Dream. You said no. You are telling the truth. Don't mess with the snowplow man. So, James passed with flying colors. Now, from the look of this photo, everybody in this picture seems to be working perfectly. But it's not. You see, Drita is back because she's in the middle of a potential shocking family betrayal. Because not only does Drita fear that James is cheating, she suspects that her own brother, Jay Boogie, is helping him hook up with other women. This is what you think. Last time, he passed. Yes. You think he's using the pass to go out and do what he wants. Maury, I know, I don't think, I know he is cheating. What do you and mean? And ever since the last time we were on your show, he's used the reason that he passed as an excuse. And every time I confront him with something is, I passed the lie detector, I passed the lie detector. He's not going to pass it today. I'm going to pass it again. I'm going to pass it again. I'm going to pass it again. So let me set up this situation. You think your own brother is yeah. helping him? My brother, my oldest brother. We do everything together. I love him to death. But, but we're it's going gonna... to really hurt me if I find out my brother has been lying to me. Okay. Because we've got to set this no, situation man. up. No, your brother not. needed a place to stay. I'm not lying. You put uh, yes, your brother you in the... You're lying. You no, are lying. lying. No. You are lying. You moved your brother into an apartment in your house, yes. and so therefore all three of you are there. You work at night. I work from 11 to 7. And you think Jay Boogie is bringing girls into the house yes. for James. Not to mention the fact that in my hair room, yeah. I come home from work early one night. Yep. I'm picking up around what the house. What do you find? And I find a piece of weave track hair. James, James has an excuse. He says it's Jay Boogie's I, woman. Uh, that's because he brings him in the house. Your brother, girlfriend. That's because he brings him in the house. house. When I confront and ask my brother, did you have one of your girlfriends in my hair room? Right. He just laughs and go back upstairs. Okay, yeah. Of course, of course. What'd you, go what'd you back find on the front stoop? That's the truth. Oh, the rubber. What? A rubber. I'm coming out from 